Welcome to Inspire for Travel and today we'll be exploring Mikindani, a coastal town here in southeastern Tanzania. Welcome to Inspire for Travel and just in case you are new to my channel, my name is Wemba Imani. Now today I'm super excited to share with you this amazing travel vlog as we explore Mikindani, a town located in southeastern Tanzania. It's a coastal town and it certainly has historical significance here in Tanzania. Now Mikindani was founded way before the 9th century by the indigenous African people people, in particular the Makonde, the Makonde um, tribal group. Now they of course are very very famous for their wood carvings and their trade in building and trading throughout the coastal regions there in the southeast. So that's the Makonde people. Now further on the line in the ninth century you had people like from Oman, Omani traders that had come there to do business and they integrated somewhat into the society during the the reign of Said, Said, Said. Now he was the Sultan of Omani, and in fact, in the language of Arabic, he is known as Assad al Oman, the Lion of Oman. So that's during that time in there in the 19th century. Then you also had the Portuguese who had came in the 16th century and also in the late 19th century, Germans people had also came, come there, the German colonial administration had set up their own um, buildings and stuff in Mikindani. So very, very interesting history. Now, could you imagine at one point in time during uh, between 1977 to 1994, that was during the Mozambican Civil War, this area here was out of bounds for tourists. You could not have gone there. So that's very interesting. Now, you may all wonder, well, why, why the Mozambican Civil War? No one could have gone there. Well, Mikindani, Mtwada, these towns and southeastern Tanzania are very near to Mozambique so at that time the government had restricted uh, travel to go to that region there in southeastern Tanzania so you're getting an exclusive tour of this region here today now also what you may want to know at one point in history that there, there, there is an area here in uh, Mikindani known as a Livingstone house that, that that's named after David Livingstone the uh, explorer or some people call him the exploiter whatever he um, had been to this town before and it's presumed that it was a point of departure his last point of departure when he was um, leaving uh, uh, East Africa or Tanzania so yeah this is very interesting here um, so we'll be just exploring more of it here so enjoy the vlog enjoy enjoy the scenery <laughs> Okay.
Okay, now we're about to tour the old German Boma. And just to give you a little insight into the building, it was built in 1895. Now, the old um, Boma was a German fort and the southern headquarters of um, that region. And it remained an important administrative post even up until when the British had took over um, until 1947 when the development then moved on to Mtwara. That's a nearby town to Mikindani. Now today, of course, it is a hotel. Um, people can stay there. There's swimming pools there and they also do vocational training for aspiring people who want to work in the hotel and hospitality industry. So people, you will get students there from time to time. Some of them are even learning English and different things like that. So this is it here as we tour and get a little insight into the history of the German Boma. Now the language is in Kiswahili but basically pretty much what I've just said to you um, it being a headquarters for um, Germany um, during the German administration and stuff like that is what's been said and yeah that's pretty much um, it so just enjoy the view enjoy this mm. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, Pia 
mashuri tofauti tofauti kama masuala ya miago mm. masuala labda ya sherehe tu tunatumika mm. hizo hizo ngumu so. pia kama hizo pito kwa zinauzwa ikiwa na mbili na sehemu ya biashara pia ndani ya mambo za ndani ya hotel hotel yeah. pia pale hiyo ndipo tufe. Mhm, ndipo tufe. Yajua ina kiwango ngapi? Ila ni ni kiasi chake ni zito. Mhm. Tufe ambayo ilikuwa natumika kipindi cha Mjerumani kama ni sehemu ya kuwapata money power wa slave ambao wao walikuwa wala qualify kwa kunyanyua ili tufe kwamba tayari ushakuwa mtumwa maana yake una nguvu za kuweza kufanya shughuli zingine za wow. za kiuchumi. Ila baadaye alipofika naye Mwingereza akawa natumia pia kama ni sehemu ndio pia ilikuweza kuwapata hao watu. Jawani. Nizipo sana. Bila jaribu. Ngoja ngoja ni tesi. Bila tesi. Oh, yo 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 yo. Wewe ni nguvu sana. sunset ambayo unaweza ukapanda kule kwa juu ukapata picha mzuri zaidi ya mji wa Pembezoni kule. Haya. Tayari sorry. Pia ni sema kuna sema ambayo ilikuwa inatumika kama ni mahakama. Ya ni sehemu ambayo ilikuwa inatumika kama ni mahakama kipindi cha Mjerumani. Ulikuwa ukionekana unaatia unachukuliwa hapa unahukumiwa baada ya hapo unapewa kwa moja kwa moja huko gerezani kama ulivyoweza kutoka kule. Pia wanalima asali kama wanavyoona hapa wanafuga nyuki. Asali ni kule. Eh ni pale kwenye mzee wa nyuki baada ya hapo wanafanya biashara kama ndivyo kutoka kuenziana pale ya kwa hivyo ndivyo ya kwa hiyo karibu sana kupumzika ah naipenda sana naweza kupanda hapo juu 